Hello AT Nation and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anzachiri Zirama Blana. To you who are seeing this phrase for the very first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the AT Nation. Please feel welcome and please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy this video and do check out my other videos as well okay so today we are going to be wrapping a valentine's present a gift for my man for my boyfriend for this valentine's day and this is going to go up just right after he opens it of course i don't want him to see it on youtube first so he's gonna open it so probably i'll try to give it to him earlier in the day and then you guys are gonna get to see it and i'll also be telling you guys in this video why i've been away why i've been away for so long like my last video was on the 31st of december and i sort of like had to make an agent decision to like take time off my social media i have been barely active on instagram and on youtube i just went mia and i sort of like put up one community post that guys i'm away but anyway let's dive right into the video i'll dish out all the details so lovely people i'm trying out uh, my microphone for the very first time i hope this sound comes out well because if it doesn't i'll have to unwrap this gift and wrap it again with you guys so anyway what you're going to need of course is wrapping paper well what i need and then i need an old magazine i'm gonna be reusing this uh magazine's old paper and i am going to be writing a love note like really who does that and then the string to tie your thing this i got from pna and then you're going to need a box that you're going to reuse i'm all about reusing uh it's either we recycle it or we reuse 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 so what I'll be doing with the magazine is like this cutouts here just to make the gift sit properly in the box. So what I got him, first of all, I'm a student. I ain't got no coins. I am broke. I am a broke girl. Miguel is broke. So anyway, uh, I just got him something simple, something that you might think is cliche. But anyway, this is the gift that I got him. First, I got him a watch. This is the watch right here. It's like a rose gold uh, and black watch. And yeah, that's the watch like that. And then it comes in a box. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. I think it's Scone. 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 And then I got him a wallet. Cause yeah. I got him a guy's wallet. This I got from Avon. So I just got a wallet in there. Mm. And of course, every gift has to have something sweet. He's not into chocolate that much. But I decided to get him the one and only PS. I love you. But I got it in my uh, home language, with, which is Chivenda. And it says Ndi Anifuna. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says Ndi Anifuna. I wanted to get uh, one in his home language, Ngia Kutanda, but I think they sold out pretty quickly. So I could only get that. So my gifts are just two, thi two things and uh, a PS. So I got him a watch and then I got him a wallet 
and then we are going to wrap it up when we talk about where has the girl been where has the girl been so i'm gonna take out this paper and put it on the and desk what i'll be doing now i'll be starting off with the paper so you just take out a paper from an old magazine and you cut them up in stripes until you get things like this you see those things that we buy to put them into uh like this boxes like this when you're wrapping gifts those things cost a fortune and you can just cut up an old magazine an old newspaper an old book or whatsoever and reuse the paper then after that you chuck it into the recycling bin we've saved trees and all that type of thing and you've definitely saved some coin so as i'll be doing this i'll be telling you guys uh, sort of giving you a rundown on what has been happening with me my a life update so last year I was doing my second year masters in biochemistry and what happens is that you get given a project it has to run for two years but uh, for some reasons I didn't finish the write-up which I was supposed to submit last year October so I decided to that in January I have to pull an arm and a leg and my hair and my everything in trying to finish by the 31st of January and I did make it I ended up submitting my master's dissertation on the 30th of January a day before uh, the set date uh, faculty had also set a date or I would have had to apply for another extension and then a lot of lo uh, a lot of things so I did make make it on the 31st on the 30th yes on the 30th and it's out for marking and i am waiting i am nervous and yeah but i am excited that i was able to complete what i wanted to complete and hand it in i just have to leave it to the examiners and god of course that all will go well and that all will work out for my girl and also as you can see i'm in a new setup i've also moved um that also has to do with my master submission so i was not submitted and i can only register for my phd when my results are out and are back so if you are not registered you can't stay on campus like i was staying last year so i got a place outside it's not the ideal place like for a few days i was depressed in this place like i don't want to live here this place is weird because i was really 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 used to staying on campus i've stayed i stayed on campus for full six years and it was amazing it was comfortable it was safe you had free wi-fi like you didn't have to worry about electricity you didn't have to worry about your wi-fi bill and everything like that so now it's just like adulting not even 101 like 501 like it went to a hundred real quick i remember uh moving in here i had to buy electricity for the first time i'm like hell no electricity is expensive if i could live without electricity i definitely would but anyway that being said i'm in a new place i am going to show you guys this place in a future video uh there's still a few things that i want to get for this place so i think i'll show you when i am like happy with this place this place is tiny and i was hoping that by the time that i move out of campus i'll be at least moving into like an apartment and have enough space but now i'm not moving into an apartment i'm living in a cottage 
at least with this uh, setup I have my own bathroom I have my own kitchen something that was very difficult about living in race was uh, sharing bathrooms I am a neat person I don't like finding my bathroom dirty if I find the kitchen dirty I not even motivated to cook so this has an advantage to it that I I get to keep my own space clean and I have my own privacy and all of that jazz so with the content I in December I, I, I posted some videos that I had pre recorded and some that which I made in December when I was uh, at my sister's place and i recorded a lot like my vacation and everything but the way january was set up with the moving with the uh submission and everything with my academics i couldn't focus on editing like creating creating content is very like you can manage you can set up like time and be like okay for this hour two hours i'm gonna film this quick video and then we are going to be ready to edit it and uh but when it comes to the part where you say you need to edit that is the most job like it takes forever to edit especially if you are using something like premiere pro which is like a very complex software which i'm still trying to get my head around it uh, for most people they just use um, what is this iMovies on their phones and stuff like that but I I was privileged uh, a friend of mine privileged me to teach me a bit of Premiere Pro but Premiere Pro takes time it needs patience especially if you're not an expert in video editing so yeah that's what has been happening to your girl so now that i have put sufficient paper in here i want it to smell like me it has to be personalized so i am going to be putting my also heavenly love struck mood enhancing uh, body mist i don't know how long this will last because i'm wrapping it up two days before valentine's day so i just hope it lasts i'm just spraying it onto this smells lovely and then i'll be putting in my gifts into the box so you need to move the paper out of the way And then I'm gonna put in the PS so he sort of needs to dig in the paper to see what is happening in here I'll also show you guys a top view of how it is looking after we are done and then I'm just gonna do that thing add more paper on top and then I'll write my love letter to my boo so tell me guys what are your valentine's day tradition do you get gifts do you go out do you just uh, cook and eat at home or picnics or whatever one thing about my valentine's day i am going to be like very busy on that day i have to go to school uh i have a couple of what do we call this general clubs and a public lecture that i need to attend so it won't be like hmm, extravagant yeah and there's going to be exchanging of gifts and i think that's going to be it So the reason I'm really putting effort, well, this is me putting effort up. I'm 
I don't know I'm not a good gift giver last year I got him a gift for his birthday and I don't think it's just accumulating dust I got him a book that I thought he would like but <laughs> and he's always getting me bomb gifts so with the little I have whoop, I know you'll be watching because he watches my video on repeat with the little I have this is I love you so this is what it's looking like I am ready to write my note and I'm gonna put it on top and once it's on top I am going to wrap <laughs> So I am done writing my love letter. I've just sealed it off with a sticker that says where is my king and then it correlates to what I have written inside. Just thanking him for always treating me like a queen. And then I also have small notes inside each of the gifts if you were quick enough you would have seen the name and then inside the wallet also there's also a personalized note So I am done wrapping the gift. I just decided to put a small note there. That note there. Saying to who from me. So this is my little Valentine's Day gift. If you enjoyed this video, please press a thumbs up. And I am really grateful for you guys staying on and subscribe to my channel while I was away for understanding that sometimes life does require people to sort of like take a break from social media from creating content and i thank you guys for remaining subscribed i haven't forgotten that we reached a thousand subscribers and you guys deserve a very nice giveaway which i will do a little bit later because yeah i am broke right now but uh a little bit later i'm promising you guys a very nice giveaway so i think that will be around march so around march i'll do a giveaway we are already growing i hope by then we'll be like at 1.5 or something like that so let's just keep growing keep liking keep commenting keep sharing i love you all